the worker is now demanding that they work from home. Yeah, well, those people are going to lose. Yeah. Okay, so instantly, look at how upset Ken Coleman gets whenever remote is mentioned. His whole demeanor changes. Yeah, those people are going to lose. Why? Why are they going to lose? All right, so yesterday I made a video about Ken Coleman, one of the Dave Ramsey personalities, about how he was saying if you wanted to quit your job to work remotely. Those people are spoiled. Oh, here's a word, Joe privileged or they're just idiots and it's really strange because i looked at his other videos and he seems like he gives decentish advice like some dude called in and said is my boss manipulating me he promised me equity in the company after two years and then decided he wasn't going to give it to me what should i do and ken was like i think it's time to leave is that what you were feeling yeah and that's what i would say I'd be like yeah bro quit get get a job that respects you and doesn't break promises and whatever right so it's very strange why he was so particularly triggered why people would rather quit than drive to an office when they can do their job just the same at home. Anyways, a bunch of people sent me this video called Why 40% of Americans Are About to Quit Their Jobs, and it was released just after I posted the Ken Coleman video yesterday, or I probably would have put that in there. This video has good old Dave Ramsey and Ken Coleman. It's funny whenever Dave has one of his other personalities on with him, because they like put their muzzle on you know they'll never disagree with dave even though they sometimes you can see that they want to and it's like shut up dave shut up shut up shut up shut up but they can't say that because thou shalt not disagree with the boss man 40 percent that's an extraordinary number of people who are saying you know what it's time to make a change it's certainly just the brought on by to do with brought that. on by the pandemic yes. giving you a philosophical reset life's too short to work at something i hate with people i hate that's right here's what happened it's interesting Kind of the hypocritical nature of it because they're like definitely go get a job where you work with people that you like doing something that you like but compared to yesterday's video where ken coleman is suggesting if you're doing that remotely then you're not contributing to society this is about you being a functional member of society and you can't just like i'm taking my toys and going home tough go but don't act like you've been dishonored like some boomer doesn't value you because they want you to come to the office for a freaking meeting. What's wrong with you? Grow up. So, you know, definitely get a job. Definitely quit your job and go somewhere you like. But if it's remote, you're spoiled and privileged and just a bunch of idiots. Very strange. Also, grab a drink or your beverage of choice. Get some shot glasses and let's take a shot every time. Ken Coleman says the word change. So we know that change is one of the greatest concerns for any human being. Change is scary. It has all this unknown. And so change is really, really ugly. However, when a forced change happens to you, so let's take the pandemic. And it was a massive change for people in largely, uh, or I mean, arguably the largest area of their life. And so when there's a forced change, you didn't have any choice. You were sent home, either furloughed, laid off, or you were working from home. So now all of a sudden you're confronting a change that you had no choice over, and now you're dealing with that change. And so then we begin to go, oh, wow, this is huge. What other parts of my life would I like to change? Oh and I think that's what has happened collectively. People are going, All right, we well, get it, Ken. Things are changing. Oh, my God. Bro, this is this is pre-workout and that beta alanine is starting to hit <laughs> real hard. I got some tingles. <laughs> uh. Forty percent of American workers are considering moving into something else, so they're gonna quit their current job. Yeah, but if you're one of these companies with no soul, you could take advantage of people. No, people aren't gonna come. No. You're that's gonna, true you're too. gonna end up with a labor. No, no yeah, you're right. Anything you say, boss, no, that's that's true too, for sure. It's not about if the company is soulless. Dave. It's about having the right compensation, the right flexibility, the right autonomy, right? Transparency from the top down. Stop trying to make a job more than what it is. Talking about, we have soul here. I don't care how much soul you have at your company if I'm not being paid well and treated right. Because of the pandemic, they said life's too short. Mm -hmm. And that's what the surveys are indicating. Yep. They're going to go, they want to do some plug into something where they matter where the work matters, mm -hmm. and where is something that they have. Mm -hmm. Yep, and mm -hmm. yeah, anything you say, boss, yes, yes, boss. Mm -hmm. Actually have a freaking talent at that they're not just there to collect a check. Oh, my God, Dave. Why do you do this, Dave? Why do you why do you put your fingers in your armpits? Take them out. What are you just going to better than I deserve? Like, why do you do this? Why do you sit like this? It's hard to take you serious, Dave. That's right. They have realized life Crusade is too short. Crusade-driven organizations That's like it. Ramsey. That's it.
See how he, he says crusade-driven organization, not mission-driven? He's elevated the buzzword to crusade-driven. That's right. We answer to God. Okay, Dave. Like, whatever, dude. Just, it's not, it, nobody cares about your mission-driven organization, right? You're appealing to the infinite. You are appealing to the people looking for a higher purpose in life, and your company is not a higher purpose in life. Sorry to break it to you, dude. It's just not. It's it's a job. Then you help people get out of debt, get off the high horse a little bit. See, we all long to I make think a we'll benefit from this. We will benefit. Okay, so this next part of the video, they just start beating themselves off about how Dave Ramsey Solutions is one of the greatest companies out there. I'm going to tell you this. The Ken Coleman Show uh, and Ramsey Solutions, we're positioned to help a lot of people make this move. You use talent as your tool. Your talent are premium tools. That's so degrading, dude. Hard workers, educated people that went to school to learn what they do. Premium tools. Humans as resources. Humans as premium tools capital your talent is your tools make sure to use them until they're dull and then throw them away and then get new ones for cheap so when we hire people at ramsey solutions here's what you got to be you got to be a crusader you have to why why do you have to be a crusader it's not their company they just work there be deeply deeply committed to the results of hope practical paths forward for people to turn their life around whether it be why do you have to be deeply committed to all of that to do the job as long as the results are bringing the company more profits or making them at least break even at the end of the year, why do you care how committed they are? Stop trying to make a job more than what it is. Everyone says this in the comments that disagree with me. They go, Josh, a job's a job. I don't know why you're so upset. This is the problem. When companies want you to make it more than that, they say, we, we want you to work here if you're committed to our mission and you're a crusader. It's like, bro, it's just a paycheck. You're trying to make all this feel like it's you know my infinite calling when it's not it's just a job this is just manipulation tactics to get me to be more invested in something than i should be with your mental emotional health the can't go with you or turn your career around uh or turn your money life around and so when you come here you better be missional and you better care about the result of life change why it's not their company why are you expecting them to take such ownership in the company when it's not their company well you won't make it through the interview you process won't. and if you did you won't fit in no, if you lie to us, if you want to just collect, you will be exposed because you. Jesus, that's like, oh my God! If you lie to us, you will be exposed. Like, jeez, dude, just say, hey, you're not fitting in. And they're like, we know that what you said isn't true. Like, come on, bro. No, 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 no. You will be exposed. Jeez, what a power play, my man. <laughs> like, if you lie, be prepared. Fuck, dude. All right. This is a different place. Yeah. We. We were talking about that this morning, and Stephanie. If you guys are trying to make this company look great, it's. I don't know if you're doing a good job. We, this is how we do things. Yeah. And not everybody needs to be a we. If you want to just say, well, I've got a degree in X, and so I yeah. have a sal sal I have a talent, yeah. and you should just pay me for delivering on that talent. Yeah. Nope. That's literally the definition of a job, Dave. Like that, I have a talent that I've worked hard to learn, and I'm providing your company X value. This is why you're paying me. Like, it's not more than that. It's really not. Despite how much you want to think it is, that's just what it is. You pay me to deliver the results. You're not paying me to pretend like I own your company when I don't. I don't get any of the benefits or the control or the results of owning the company like you. I just work here. That's, that's all it is. You can't expect me to pretend like this is my company when it's literally not. That's why we're getting so many developers coming. Oh, yeah. Because develop, we, we work a developer uh, 40 hours a week, not 80. That's right. Uh, where they're writing code, doing something that matters. Yeah. They didn't wake up and go, I hate my job. They woke up and went, man, we've got a lot of people need our help. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it. developers said that. I really, I really don't. I feel like there are so many other cooler things to code than an application that says, hey, spend less money than you make. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, come on. You got like machine vision. You got all, all sorts of cool AR video games. AI, nah, there are people out there that need help. We gotta tell them to stop spending so much money. Underneath all of this is a massive warning to leaders. But if you have a crappy culture, they will leave you. Nobody cares about culture, dude. Like we just want our money and to go live our lives. Like maybe there are a few of you out there that care about culture and great. You guys keep being good little robots and drinking that Kool-Aid, man. But like I for one don't want culture because I don't want you guys to try and make this job more than what it is when I am not invested in the company, nor do I really control any parts of this business. I don't want to drink your Kool-Aid. I don't, you know, this is, you pay me, I give you X service. We could still be cool, we could still be chill. It doesn't have to be weird. It's just business, as you'd say, when you fire me. And you better have a place that uh, is, is healthy, and you better have a place that is dominated by leaders who care for the oh, people. Oh boy, people okay, like let's pause right there.
dominated by leaders. I don't want to be dominated by a leader. I don't want to be dominated by anyone, honestly. And I would suggest that you probably don't work at a place that's dominated by leaders either. It's a, a recipe for manipulation and overuse of power. You know what I mean? Like, you better work at a place that's dominated by leaders. So, no, bro, don't dominate. Like, that's terrible. Like, let people give their input, look at their feedback. Let's think critically about all the information and situations, and then let's make the best decision that hopefully benefits everyone. Let's not just dominate it by leaders. Like, Ken, what are you talking about, my dude? Like, hey, you see me. I'm not just doing work that matters to me, but I matter to you because you share how we... Who cares, Ken? I'm not just doing work that matters, but I matter to you, boss. Like, I don't give a shit if I matter to you. Like, it's cool that you recognize the merits of my work, but I don't need to feel like you're my parent. You know what I mean? Like, you're not. You're just the boss, man. And at the end of the day, you're going to buy your third mansion and I'm going to pay my electricity bill. And companies that don't figure this out, you're going to lose talent at an alarming rate. Yeah. Why do you sit like this, Dave? Dave. Yeah. 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 The worker is now demanding that they work from home. Yeah, well, those people are going to lose. Yeah. Okay, so instantly look at how upset Ken Coleman gets whenever remote is mentioned. His whole demeanor changes. Yeah, those people are going to lose. Why? Why are they going to lose? If they can do the same work that produce the same results, if not better results, and they have more flexibility and autonomy over their life, why are they going to lose? Why should that happen? Some people say, well, if you work at home, you're going to get outsourced. You're going to get outsourced if you're in the office or out of the office if they really want to save money, if that's what it comes down to you suddenly going, I'm going to commute, isn't going to change their mind. Oh, wait, Bob said he'd come in. Let's not outsource him. That's not going to happen. So why are they going to lose, Ken? Why do you get so triggered over this thing about working remote? He looks so serious all of a sudden. Just a few minutes before, he's like, yeah, you should definitely quit. Find that sweet spot with your passions and your talents aligned. But if you're remote, you're going to lose. Why? Yeah, that's not going to work. Bad idea, by the way. It's not why? Why is working remote a bad idea? Why? Tell me why, Ken. Yeah, uh, it hasn't worked. You can all, try all, that. All of the data no. is in. That's right. And work from home does it. What data, Dave? Where's the data? Do you link it in your description down here? All of the data is in, yet you link none of the data. Where is it? What references? What sources? Work from home doesn't equal work. No. Classic boomer mindset. Good old Dave. Work from home doesn't equal work. Why not, Dave? Why? Because you can't see them? Is that... Is that why? Kidding done. I can't have a... <laughs> look at him laugh. L look at it. Look at him laugh. <laughs> work from home doesn't equal work. <laughs> Getting done. How does this have 6,000 thumbs up? Have a great culture if everybody's separated all the time. Oh, Ken talking about culture again. You can't have a great culture if everyone's separated all the time. Have you ever played World of Warcraft? You ever been in a guild? Probably not because you think World of Warcraft is demonic would be my guess. What about an FPS? First person shooter? You ever played one of those, been in a clan? Those people have cultures and everyone's remotely playing in the same game and it's great, you know? Like, come on, how can you be so naive? Yeah, and it's, we're seeing major companies that thought they were gonna go that way swinging back yep. now again. This yep. is the third time we've gone through this. <laughs> Watch this wave go back and forth. And I've been unpopular every time because we don't work from home. We work from here with human beings in the building where we can see each other. You notice how he puts emphasis on where we can see each other. Object permanence issues. Seriously. If I can't see you working, you're not working. Working with real people, real human beings, as opposed to what, Dave? Fake human beings if they're remote? Like, what's what's the big deal? Why do you care so much? I just don't understand. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you'd like to support the channel, there's some links down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.